Adam Surveying out of Richardson, Texas provides surveying services that include construction staking, Alta, topography, and boundary work, as well as aerial drone surveying. Their customer, Graham Associates, an engineering and planning company, rely on the UAV services from Adams for pre- and post-development, project analysis, and volume measurements. Graham has two large UAV projects that each present unique challenges. First up is an 800-acre pre-development flight on a project yet to break ground. Then, a follow-up flight on a 900-acre construction project that's already underway to assess progress and calculate dirt levels. The Adams drone surveyors will have to contend with highways, cell towers, and an active construction site as they try to turn their plans into deliverables for Graham Associates. Only on Down to Earth. Scott over at Graham sent this over. This is Spradley Farms. Uh, they're needing a pre-development flight of the area. Uh, told it's 750, 800 acres, so we'll go ahead and measure that and see what it is, and we'll make the flight plan from there. All right, is that red line all of my area? This is the boundary from Scott. Uh, we'll, we'll stay inside this boundary. I uh, believe he did give us some overlap, that way we get all the stuff we need as well. So after looking at this, we're looking at almost 900 acres for the entire site. All right, from now we need to start chopping this up in the flight segments. That's our overall. So now we need to actually start making the polygons uh, for the flights. All right, so we've uh, made our manageable chunks out of the original uh, KML that the client sent us. And now we've emailed it to ourselves, and then we'll go straight into MD Cockpit so that I can load this uh, KML. And now we see uh, all those KMLs shown up on the screen here. And this is a flight plan that uh, MD Cockpit comes up with. Now that we have all the flight plan put together, let's go grab our gear and head out to Spradley Farms. Let's do it. We have the drones out for two projects right now. We're gonna do Spradley Farms today. That is a pre-construction flight where we can get a lay of the land for the engineers so they can do all their pre-planning uh, all their engineering plans put together. And tomorrow we're gonna go out to Karis. Karis is a site we've done a pre-flight for. They've started their engineering plans. We've actually started moving dirt on. Now we're gonna go back and check what the dirt work is for their elevations, where they wanted them to be, where they actually are, how much dirt was left. The flight today, the challenges that come into play is we have a little bit of lance authorization we had to get from the FAA. There's a little sliver just north of our property that light made that to where we had to get some lance authorization. The other consideration is the wind, as you can probably hear. Really, this is probably about as fast as I want to see the wind. So that's a consideration. And the towers behind me, they're also a consideration. Anything you could possibly run into. For LiDAR, I had to fly a lot lower than photogrammetry. And so I am concerned with more things. Well, I'm just setting up for the day. So that's what we've done. Meant to, in order to do that, I gotta have a takeoff point, an alignment waypoint, whatever I'm gonna do, like I call it mowing the grass whenever I'm just doing a big square pattern. And then another alignment waypoint once it's done collecting data for that flight, and then it lands. Feel pretty good, now we just uh, kinda unpack and put it all together. The way the Micro Drones products help us at Adam Survey and meet our goals is when we come across open fields like this, where the photogrammetry is not going to be able to cut through the canopy uh, or the grass. So that's when the LiDAR bird will get called out. There may be other circumstances where it gets brought out, but most of the time it's because we need to cut through some grass or we need to cut through some canopy to get the ground level. And that's just something photogrammetry is not gonna be able to do. So this site, the challenge we had here was we had some tree areas and we had tall grass. So that did require the LiDAR bird to come in. And then we also had the tower you see behind me, and we had the highway. So we're talking about getting uh, air rights, avoiding the right of ways for the uh, roads, but also trying to stay at a safe altitude to avoid any towers. So make sure that we had our maps set up, we had established ourselves here, so everybody was aware we were here and we could all stay at a safe distance from each other. Now it's doing its alignment waypoint, kind of aligning the IMU and the GPS together. And it already aligned itself. And now he's scanning. Right now you can see it's fighting the wind pretty good out here, but it's staying pretty steady at 16 feet per second, so it's got enough juice to battle through it. Things are working accordingly. How the flights went today were a little tough just because the wind starts picking up. Considerations I have to take into account 
whenever this wind is here is the angle in which I'm flying. I have to sacrifice some planning efficiency to fly in and out of the wind, namely just to conserve battery or to just know battery planning better. The uh, performance I was very happy with. We're still doing something that would have taken us two months and two weeks. So we got it down, we collected what we needed. We'll throw it through MD Infinity for processing and we can probably have our surface uh, preliminarily done today. I'm a happy camper as far as that's concerned. Tomorrow we're going to CARES. Out there we have already done the pre-flight as we did here today. They have started moving dirt, cutting roads, cutting pads. Now we're going to go out there and see how they've done compared to what they've planned to do, to what they have done, as well as let them know where their dirt volumes are for what they planned on and what's actually there.